Hello everybody, welcome. This is Mike Hamilton from TradeEasyWay.com. Uh, it's Sunday the 11th of July. Great day. I've been swimming in the channel today, but time to uh, take a look at these markets. Let's start with the dollar. This is a weekly chart on the dollar index, and we have just come right back to the 200 EMA, and we are resting on trendline support. So, my uh, analysis would suggest that this is a really really strong base for the dollar to resume its uh, upward trend and I'll be very very surprised if we break down below here uh, I think uh, this area should hold but were we to break below 84 then I think we'll quickly get back down to 82 and a half uh, but to me this looks like a you know it's broken through channel line resistance come back to test it this is support with the 200 that ticks a lot of boxes for an argument for dollar to move back out and up upwards okay moving on to equities this is the S&P 500 futures now here you can see we've had this massive move off of this support here at the bottom of the fib zone fib zone is taken from this high up here and this low down here so we've moved right to the top of the fib zone right to the bottom bounced off of this bottom and where to next well uh, we've had four good days in buy but we've got a lot of congestion up here with the 50 and the 200 together and this trend line resistance up here basically if we can get above this 50 ma and 200 close above here and the next day break up here we are going to be off to the races up here but th that's a big big ask uh, this is a lower low from from the low here uh, it's a massive congestion so key area we've got to look for during this week is to see if we can close on the, you know, the ES above 1085 uh, th there is a strong likelihood that we can get up here and then we will just bounce off uh, that's a massive ask to break through there but like I said if we do that's going to be big very quickly on oil, we've got this major trendline resistance above. We close above 77, we'll get back to 82 quickly. If we bounce off of here, then we back down to these lows and back down to uh, 68. So that's what I'm looking for in oil. Right, let's go straight over to the currencies. Right, to keep the scoring short, I'm only going to show you the currencies I like. Uh, so if any currency pair is not shown here, because I don't think they're setting up. Right. Aussie dollar yen, uh, I like this, but it's a massive amount of congestion up here. Trendline resistance, fibs, 50 EMA and 200 EMA, so a lot of congestion. However, if we get a close above the 80 in the index, I will be all over this one. I buy a pullback and look to see if I can get back up to 88. Uh, as to the downside, I would not trade that for the downside. Uh, Aussie dollar US. I like it, but I'm just worried about the uh, pot potential bounce in the dollar index. So I would not trade that unless that closes above 88, and then I'll buy a pullback. Uh, I've looked at the Euro Aussie, I've looked at the Euro CAD, and other Euro pairs. Don't like them. Euro US is sideways. Let's have a look at Euro Pound. Right, I've taken profits on Euro Pound. However, it's closed above this area here, so it's qu it's just you could argue it's still a bullish trade although we are right under the 50 MA. If you haven't taken profits, get your stop right up to 83.25 and see if we can close above here tomorrow. This this could this could work. If, if we do, I think we'll get back up to this trend line resistance. Uh, if you're not in this trade, don't I would I would not personally take it. It's up to you if you want to trade it, but I personally wouldn't take a break of that 50 MA. This is just for people um, who who may still be in this trade after we took it on this uh, hammer with the RSI setting? Great trade. So how much we've locked in uh, 81.32. So we got uh, 260 points. Right. Let's euro yen. Not touching it. Same goes for this one. If you're not sure about this setup, do not take it. This is what I'm doing. I took it on a 60 minute chart and a, break, and a breakout set up in the 60 minute chart uh, because I think this is a stopping bar on daily and this is a very nice confirmation of, uh, to me of the reversal of the trend. We've broken the trend, closed above the trend line resistance. This is a stopping bar to me. We've closed above it. It's a new low, closed above next day. So 
So this to me is the market telling us this is about to reverse. A lot of support down here and we've closed above it. If you're not in this trade, what you could do is take a pull, try and get a pullback to 105.29. Stop just below these lows here at 1047. Just below I'll just go below there, just a few points below 1047. And then see if you can get a move back to back to here. We've got diversion RSI, so it ticks a lot of boxes. So I'm long that, we'll stop to break even. Let's see how that one goes. US dollar CAD, potential because of the potential bounce in the dollar index and the strength in the CAD, I think they're gonna cancel each other out. I'm anticipating all the sideways action despite the fact this is a trigger bar. But I think the risk reward ratio is not there and the indices are telling me that uh, we could potentially get a lot of sideways action. Pound CAD, right. This is why we took it. This is why I, I uh, got. This is why I looked at it for you. There's a reversal bar on 50% fibs under the 50 EMA with extreme RSI, and you very rarely get to tick that many boxes. So for those of you who took it, well done. I'm still short this. Now, what am I going to do with this? It's potentially, it's reached its target, the 50 EMA, but because of the the sideways to, to downward action in the pound and the strength in the CAD. What I'm doing with this is I'm going to lock in a lot of profits. I'm going to put a stop uh, just above this FIB zone at 158 and see if we can get a close tomorrow below the 50 MA because I think we are heading down to these lows, back down to retest these lows here. So I'm prepared to lock in half my profits or just over half my profits and risk the other half on a potential continuation. You could, if you want, if you want to play it this way, you could just tighten up your stop even more, lock in more profits. That's perfectly acceptable. You could get a stop just above 156.76, say 156.80, 82, because um, that's still above the halfway area on this on this uh, bar. So you're not risking that much of your profits if you have profits if you're in this trade, and see if we can get down to uh, this area here. If I get stopped out. That's fine. I've still got some profits. Otherwise, I think we might be able to capture a lot more profits on the pound CAD. Uh, no other trades to speak of. Uh, risk reward ratio in this pound Aussie dollar to me is not worthwhile. Uh, as for the pound US, uh, it, it's pr very sideways between the 50 and the 200, not touching it. There's a lot of data out this week including the core price inflation on Friday and its options expire on Friday so trade very very carefully on Thursday and Friday if you're in stocks lock in profits if you've got profits to all, as you're getting towards Thursday Friday but options expiry is traditionally choppy so you've been warned quick look before we go on a couple of stocks I tried to get an entry on CUB, CUB it just ran absolutely ran that's consolidating and expe I'm expecting that to go up. EL, Estee Lauder, um, it's, this is a miss. It's such a lovely chart to me. What I should have done is I should have put an order in the book for a break of that 50 MA at 59.40. Instead, uh, I waited for a pullback here after this trigger bar. didn't get it and it's run and so that's a very, very nice move. In future, when I see a chart that I like that much, I will put in an order just for the break of that 50 MA uh, with a stop just down here. So the risk order ratio is great. Uh, if we get a retest of 59.40, uh, if we get a retest of that, I would leave an order in the book for a day or two to see if we get a retest and try and get in that because I like this a lot and could get up there. As for any other scans, I'm going to wait to the, for the close on Monday in the ES and then do scans according to that see if, uh, that trend that comes out of that close. Uh, any questions, email me. I hope that helps. Good luck and speak to you soon.